Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And as some of you guys might know, I just sold my supercar. So I said I'm going to do a video on the complete ownership of a supercar from brand new to two years old. So let's check it out. So first off guys, I want to throw a huge thank you to everyone for the support on the channel. In the last 35 days, we've got 200 new subscribers. So thanks for stopping by if you're new to the channel and always good to have you back if you're a longtime subscriber. Let's jump into the cost of my 2018 R8 RWS. You see, that was my first supercar and the RWS is a limited edition R8. They only made 320 for America. I recently just sold the R8 on bringatrailer.com. If you want to see that video, link is below. But let's jump into all the pricing. So forgive me as I'll be looking off camera a bunch of times because I don't want to get these numbers wrong for you. The sticker price on the R8 was $154,525. I did get the dealership to wrap the whole body in a PPF film and after negotiating, that was $3,550. After that, there's $175.94 dealer document fee charge, $11,475.01 for Illinois state tax, Cook County tax is an additional $1,582.76, Chicago apparently wanted $15, my registration was $221, leaving the grand total of the car at $171,544.71. Now I decided to get a loan on the car and what I did is I put $30,310.74 down leaving me with the loan balance of $141,234. My interest on my loan was 4.5175. Probably could do better, I'm not here for that. That leaves me with a 72 month loan of $2,243.37 a month. <sighs> Now guys, of course I didn't stop there. To me, I wanted a louder exhaust. So $3,738.83 later, I got a quick silver exhaust from London. But I needed that installed. $1,593.20 to get that installed. And I do live in Chicago, so winter happens. So why not have some winter tires? $2,567.74. And of course, because I live in Chicago, there's a lot of potholes and rims go for about four or five thousand dollars a piece. So I figured it's a no brainer to get the rim insurance that lasts five years for three thousand one hundred and seventy four dollars. Now let's get into the actual monthly costs. So there's gas and insurance. Insurance came out to in the 21 months of ownership three thousand six hundred and seventy two dollars, which is about one hundred and seventy four dollars a month. I do insure a ton of different things, so I think that's pretty low for most people with a brand new $170,000 car. And then I believe I used 307 gallons of gas throughout the complete ownership of the car, and that was at $3.50, let's say, that's $1,075 for gas. Now, as you can see, those numbers add up real quick. So let's jump into cash out of hand what it cost me for 21 months. I spent $93,221.28. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> But I said I sold the car because I only had 4,300 miles on it, so I learned my lesson. So jumping on to how much I sold the car for. I sold the car for $125,000. The lien on my car was $106,025.05. So with that $125,000 paid for me, I paid off the lien, leaving me with a total profit. <laughs> A total cash value of $18,974.95. So what does that mean? The total cost to own this car for 21 months was $74,246.33. And the true monthly cost, if you remember, my monthly payment was uh, $2,243, but the true actual cost per month was $3,535.54, leaving me with a cost per mile 
of $17.27. <laughs> Would I recommend it? Hey guys, do what you want, it's your money. Uh, do I think I got screwed? Uh, well, I knew what I was getting into. I didn't expect to sell it after two years, but then again, I only lease everything for three years, so I do get bored of things real quick, but I also just never used it. So that is the real cost of what it cost me to own a supercar. Now, if you want to look at just the interest, that interest that I paid was $11,920 on the $140,000 loan. So keep that in mind when you're looking to put a loan on a car. Now guys, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just hoping to help one of you guys or a bunch of you guys figure out if that's what you want to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that $18,974.95 and I'm going to invest it in something to see if I can get it back. So this is kind of like just a challenge to myself. Hopefully I don't lose that other $18,000, but hopefully I make my $74,000 back. So if you want to follow my other channel, I will do, I think, weekly updates of what I invested that money in to see if I can get my $74,000 back. So my channel for that below is this is WJ Bell. It's just something fun, something to try. I want to see if I can get any of that money back or I want to see if I will lose another $18,000 on my RA. If you like what you watched in this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you then.